Hey everybody, welcome to DIY with Jamie. Today I'm going to show you how to create a rhinestone template. Uh, this is a pretty simple one. I do not want to get too complicated. For those who are not familiar with rhinestone templates, I want to kind of get you started out with the basics. So I figured doing this heart would be a great way to show you. So I am going to kind of go through the steps on how to start from the beginning. As you can see here, I have a heart with a rounded corner frame. You do need to have a frame around every design you do. That way, whenever you go to put your rhinestones in on your template, basically this black square here will be your sticky flock material. Sticky flock is the best material for rhinestones. It is great because you can, it sticks on the back side to a table whenever you want to put your rhinestones in those little tiny holes right here. So let's get started. The heart here I actually got from right over here on the left. So if you come over to the left side on the shapes, you will see there are a ton of shapes in here. Right here's the heart. You click on that, and once you click on this heart, then you're going to basically just hold down your left mouse button and drag it until you have the size you need. You, you can change the size, but just drag it until it's big enough. Then click on it, and so this heart I have created over here is a 3.4 by 3.1. So I'm going to go ahead and size this one that same size just so we can make it like this one. So up here on the top, you have your width and your height. This is a lock button. We're not going to lock it because if I, if I push lock on that, then if I change the width, it's going to change the height. So I actually want to make it just like my rhinestone template down here. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead, leave it unlocked, oops, unlocked, and then I'm going to change the width to 3.4, and I'm going to push enter, and then the height, I'm going to push 3.1 and enter. That's just going to give me the size I need, which if I put it right here in the center, it's going to be perfect. Okay. So once I put it over here, I'm just going to kind of get it out of the way. Then... In order to turn it to a rhinestone template, obviously this is solid. So if you cut this, it's just going to cut out one solid heart. Go over here to your right panel. On the very bottom is a rhinestone panel. And so you're going to see it kind of looks like a rhinestone. Up at the top, you have different choices. You have what it is now, which is nothing. You can make it an outline. So if you just want to do a rhinestone outline then that's what you would do this is a fill so that's what you would do to fill it and then you have um, I, I really don't ever use this one <laughs> you can but I don't use it that often I use this one or the edge so my favorite size rhinestones are the 10 SS that is what I use for all of my rhinestone templates I just like that size they really show up well. It gives you enough rhinestones to show that bling bling and um, works great for me. So I use the 10 SS. So next thing is you want a frame around it. That way when you cut it out, it cuts your frame for you and then it leaves the little holes inside for you to put your rhinestones. So how I do that is I go over here to the left panel I choose the second one because it has rounded edges and that's just what I prefer. And you make it a little bit bigger, you go right over it. And you can right click on that square and push send to the back. That way you can see your rhinestone template in front of it. So once you have it, you want to resize it. So let's put it about 5 inches by 5 inches. And obviously you can see it's not centered. So if you highlight both the heart and the square and you come up here to the top, you can choose the align the center 
and then align the middle. And that is going to, let me just go ahead and click on the square, just the square. So if you click outside of everything, then it will, you won't be clicking on the heart as well. You can click on the square, go up here to the color box and choose black. That will help you to see the difference in the two. You can even change the heart to yellow or whatever you want to make it stand out more. And honestly, you do not have to do anything else, but basically, let me just go ahead and copy it onto a new page so I can show you. When you are ready and you have it ready to print, you put it on your, you can put it on your 12 by 12, your 12 by 20 format, whatever you normally use. And I like to zoom in. Here's your zoom button at the top. I zoom in so I can see my ruler. I like to see my ruler because, like up close, because it will allow me to see how much I need to cut of my sticky flock material. I can see that it's five and a quarter, so I need to cut it about five and a half. And then down below here, I can see my ruler across. Five and a half is great. So five and a half by five and a half, it's going to cut it smaller than five and a half. So that works out great. It will cut all of these little circles. So once you, what, what it will cut is this outline in every little circle right here, as long as you have it selected. So now let's go to that. At the top right, you go to send, because you're going to be ready to send it to your Silhouette Cameo machine. Once you have your material cut out, and your five and a half by five and a half, and stuck down on this same exact spot. Over on the right side, you're going to see you need to make sure your material is set at your rhinestone template material. Your tool, I don't know if you're going to use an auto blade, but I use a ratchet blade. You can use a deep cut blade, but I usually always use a ratchet blade. It's just what I prefer. And you can see right here, you need to have, if you select right here, if you select it, you hold down your mouse, and if you select all of it, and you click cut, and it's thinking, you can see that every little circle has a red circle around it or a red frame around it. You know that shows you that it is going to cut that. If you cut, if you push cut edge, you can see it is only going to cut this. It is not going to cut your heart template out. So you need to make sure that it is highlighted or outlined in red in order for it to cut. So Silhouette Cameo is going to basically understand what your Silhouette software is saying as long as you have all of these red outlines. Um, it will go ahead and put it on six for you. If your blade, if you've used it a while and it's dull and you know it, you can move, you can move it up to eight or, you know, whatever. If you feel like it's too sharp, you can always adjust it. You know, sometimes you don't know until you print it, but if you, if you use your machine a lot, you'll know. If you don't, then just keep it on the setting that it puts on there for you. And then you're ready to go. If it's highlighted, you've got everything double checked here, then you are ready to go. Press send. Do not reverse it. I know there's a heart, so this really won't matter, but do not reverse it. Just send it straight to the machine and you'll be ready to go. So I hope this helps you out with the basics on how to create a rhinestone template. And I will do more videos in the future on and showing you once you print it out, how to actually transfer it to an item. Thanks so much for watching.